And the reason why we met... <laughs> I got a special guest because y'all was probably getting bored and tired of me just going on rants about people dying and stuff. So today, we're going to go back and talk about girl groups. And I'm going to talk about my favorite girl group, Danny D. Kane. But I had to get a connoisseur, a maven, a... <laughs> What all accolades you want to list on how you are so amazing in your oh, field of... Wow. What else are you? Tell him. Tell um, him. He is a singer. Writer. I will call you a dancer because I've seen you do a oh, lot of stuff. <laughs> Troy is here, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to be putting his Instagram in the description box below so everybody go holla. But yeah, we're going to talk about Danny D. Kane. The best. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're gonna do this because I've always wanted to do a video about this. I think it's so ironic. The first time I actually made a YouTube channel was to YouTube footage from the Welcome to the Dollhouse tour mm. in 2008. That's when I made my first YouTube channel because I wanted to look up the choreography to Bad Girl because hmm. that was my favorite Danny D. Kane song at the time. And Tony okay. Testa was a choreographer. Nobody be giving him any props. So shout out to Tony Testa yeah. because he was given y'all. Yeah, Lori Ann Gibson was always And Lori Ann. Making the band is coming back. So they're posting all the content. You can keep it. <laughs> I was really mad that they posted the break though when he fired them. Yeah. They're using that as like the social media campaign. I don't like that. I don't like that. That's the legacy that Danny D. Kane mm -hmm. is being known for because they are they're probably one of the best girl groups. Yeah. And a lot of people don't get that. They know Showstopper, they know Damage. The, they know the popular. They know the, the two, the two songs, songs, yeah, the popular, but they the don't songs, realize yeah. what Danny D. Kane did for the culture, musically, sonically. We had Destiny's Child before, and it wasn't up until Destiny's Fulfill that we finally heard a group where all three members were at least singing a verse yeah. and somewhat doing background vocals. Yep, yep. Somewhat. Like, Kelly Rowland was a really, oh, I love Kelly Rowland's voice, especially when she would do her background paddings so good. Mm -hmm. But Danny D. Kane, freaking Don. Well, Let's do it. well oh, you just jump right in there. So we're going to go into the structure. Just overall, like, the total package, like, it's rare that you can find a group where everybody's good like everybody's yes. good regardless of like everybody's special in their own right but like everybody's good they have um, an asset to like bring mm -hmm. to the table it's not just a image or yes. like there's a strength and they all like complimented each other like especially on that welcome to the dollhouse tour like it was such a vibe it was, it was good like they just it looked like like, Diddy did his thing. Was right. Like, well, I never thing. understood it because watching Making the Band, they compiled all of that into like a 40 minute episode. Mm -hmm. You know, so all of the things that we probably didn't get to see as fans watching the show, they edited it up for us. So it would have been really cool. Like, I wish I could have been like a PA on like working on the mm -hmm. show or like a producer or something to see like what actually was happening. Because even the talent of the girls. Uh, that were in the show, the original Making the Band show, like there were some of those girls that I know that are still working and stuff like that, but that was a really cool generation mm -hmm. of women. And it sucks like they didn't have social media really yeah, to, to kind of get themselves mm -hmm. out there. So for them to have made it that far, if this show, which I guess is coming back, but if this show was around like when social media was around, I'm pretty sure, I don't even know if we would have the same Danny Kane that we have. So I'm so glad that we had like eyes like Diddy or someone to kind of yeah. piece together. He saw yeah. like what You gotta give him credit for yeah. that, honestly. Like I just so this is my <laughs> issue. How you gonna make something so beautiful and then just tear it apart? And I I, I feel like we can't fully like blame him. They were at each other's throats. Oh, like, we can and tell it was, totally. it was it was shady. Like even when yes. D Wood said like bye to Don, it was like good luck. Yeah, good with, luck with you. <laughs> with with the, the, going the, on the, with Diddy, Diddy and, and Dirty like, Money. She didn't have to say right. All that. Like, right. Even though she knew what it was. But right. Like, they knew. Well she saw the cameras there and she wanted people to know on what her was. side what and it I was. Get it. And I get it. And the politics. So this is the issue. This is one of the things um that I liked about Danny D. Kane is regardless about all of the crazy stuff behind the scenes, as a oblivious fan, I had no idea any of this mm -hmm. stuff was happening. Because yep. I was so focused on the music, so mm -hmm. focused on the choreography, Talent. so focused on the show. Maybe it was the producers of Making the Band too. They did a really good job at distracting us yeah. from a lot of the BS. Who was your favorite member of Danny D. Kane when we were growing up? And then who is your favorite member of Danny D. Kane now? <sighs> All right, um, and it's not the DK three now. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, like yeah. now in retrospect, now that we're adults yeah, and yeah, we can yeah. see mm -hmm. the full picture. Um, in the beginning, it was um, Aubrey. 
for sure. Oh, really? It was Aubrey, yeah. Okay. It was Aubrey. Why? Because she, whenever I would watch like the Welcome to the Dollhouse tour, she has like a certain like that X actor that. Yeah, she has like she can command like your attention. For me, she could mm -hmm. she commanded my attention and like even though like Dawn. Dawn, Dawn, like, <laughs> but like Aubrey, like her, like the I, essence. It's, yeah, it's she like was it's a essence. move she does. Right. It's I think it's her part. Undress me with your eyes, your first part. Like um, she does like some little backup thing. Like it's just the way she right, moves. The like, it's, 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 Aubrey has it's always had that. That's why she was always she's been the front woman of making the band. And Danny mm -hmm. became I feel it's because she's always had that. Tenacious yeah. attitude and that swag, very, but she has a very strong personality yes. as well. So, so I that helped her. Ironically, not and then you would say Don is your yeah, just your, because as an indie artist, like she's she's amazing. Okay, like, she's very talented. But what for and for what does she do with the band that makes you feel like Vocally, she's a, like because I feel like song, she's a structure. Her songwriting abilities, right. like her her you can hear her like you can hear right. her in the song that's what I'm saying like she's the structure you hear her in the her, backgrounds the ad libs yeah. the hooks she mm -hmm. on every hook everything right? literally, literally <laughs> so that's why I used to so it's ironic so Don was my favorite on the show and just in general like I was always rooting for her there was always one person I was like that gotta be in the, she has to be in the group she has to be in the mm -hmm. group but then now I have to say my favorite member is Shannon Shannon Shannon's amazing it's so interesting. I think it's more so as an adult, and it brings me back to why I was asking you this. During that tor that turmoil and all that kind of mm -hmm. stuff, and now I'm rewatching a lot of the stuff or whatever, mm -hmm. she was really trying yeah. to like explain, like, are you sure you want to do this? Or, hey, guys, can we try to come to an agreement? But when you have, like, hotheads and mm -hmm. fires and, like, ooh, 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 mm -hmm. like, that's why she was put in that group. And sometimes I just used to not get it. I used to be like, why did he pick her? Like, I loved her growing up. I loved her dancing. I, I loved say, her parts. Yeah. I loved her. But I wanted to know why yeah. did he? Like, what, what what made them say, oh, why did? And that's why she was in that group. And because she was like, you see what I mean? I get you. And, it, <laughs> and then you even saying that, it makes me like even respect Diddy more because like he had some vision. Like, right. To know he that knew. These women... The, like, it could have been great. So okay, so that's what we're gonna talk about. So the chemistry could have been there. What mm -hmm. do you what do you think of some of the things that went wrong with them? Because sonically, they was working with the best. Timbaland, Missy Brian Elliot. Cox, yeah. Missy Elliott, like producers, mm -hmm. collabs and stuff like that. They had a platform on MTV. Yeah. It was it was all set up, but that's reality television. That's what we saw on the thing. So what do you think the behind the scenes rumors and scandals? Mm -hmm. Like, what do you think of the authenticity of some of the stuff we heard compared to, like, real life? Real life? I don't know. I To me, I still want to kind of be oblivious, and they just let outside forces get the best of them versus, like, them being that problematic and them, like, ah! being that conniving and manipulative towards each other. Like, why do we do that as as DK fans? Like, why do we, why do we like, ignore... Mm -hmm those elephants <laughs> yes that's not fair to us y'all like and trust y'all i was front row at the danny d king concert in la like i i was i'm 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 obsessed but sometimes i feel like we for certain artists we would not tolerate some of this stuff oh yeah but for other artists we're just like please like get it together like we're rooting for you we're rooting for you I Why think that's just what it is like you we we see what it could be like we ignore like you said we ignore like the, what they actually have to do to be as great as they could have been or right. that they are and we just want to like see that and experience right it's like all right be an understanding like all right this it is we are a human that they are right human, and they, see that's the and thing I don't see eye to eye and but i think also maybe because we 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 watch them be put together mm -hmm. i guess it's like almost like they're like a cousin or like mm -hmm. like almost like we grew up with them so we yeah. feel like we're involved in the relationship too yep, yep. so it's like mm -hmm. when there's like like when it's your family member that's done something effed up you are more sympathetic to them compared to if you just read a headline of a story right. of someone doing something yes. bad. But then yeah. if that was your family member, you, you would probably tolerate it a little bit more because you yeah. want to see that it it's better. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. Like, for instance, we had this conversation. So Danny D. Kane, if y'all don't know, Danny D. Kane broke up in 2008, right? The first mm -hmm. time. First time. And then they got back together in 2013. Yeah. yeah as a foursome then right right when they was about to launch mm -hmm. 
And uh, Andrea pulled out. Yeah. And then they decided they were about to launch as a trio. So they launched a song, which was a bop called Lemonade. Mm -hmm. And then right when they were about to film um, their music videos and for the album that was about to come and out. A show. They were and a reality, reality show. show. Yeah. Um, then they got into a fight. <laughs> and then, then they broke up. But then, because we're so loyal, because the dedicated crew is the best, mm -hmm. um, we got the album still, even though they weren't together. So yeah. they decided to release the album in like September, October, Shut even though it was... Right. Yeah. So then we had all this great music that lasted us. And then... They came back together again mm -hmm. as a trio. So we have Don, we have Aubrey, and we have Shannon. Mm -hmm. And now they go and they tour as a trio, and they're doing like a little bit of their spinoff stuff. So Don is an independent artist, yep. as you already mentioned. Mm -hmm. She has like what five albums out yeah. now, and so a bunch of mixtapes and stuff mm -hmm. like that, and tons of content. So y'all go look up all that. Amazing. But then Aubrey and Shannon are in a duo called Amazing. Dumb Blonde, they're dope. and that's indie they're and alternative, dope. and it's like they're so dope. progressive. Yes, yeah, so and dope. so. This is what I'm saying. Like, I was just thinking about this because I love Fifth Harmony yes. and I love Little Mix, but I feel like if Danny D. Kane got that same set up that those groups had, that the industry would be very different because Aubrey, I feel like, can compete with the pop girls. Mm -hmm. Just like I feel like Don can compete, like the signed ones, I mean. Yeah, yes. Just yeah. like Don can compete with the indie girls she can compete with the r&b girls i remember shannon tried going country, country yeah. it wasn't really a thing but i feel like if she had a country push like yes. label push yes, yes, the yes, same yes. way with some of these other girls that are right now they would have been slammed in the industry right now so it's it's not that's not very fair i mm -hmm. feel in my opinion that's why i probably to answer the question that i asked want to root for them or see anything that they do successfully mm -hmm. accomplish no matter if it's toxic or not because i know that they their talent deserves it regardless right right, right. And that's true even d woods mm -hmm. because we used to talk about this i can say maybe i'm a fan now no nah, but i liked d woods no when she was in i was game. never into D Woods. I liked her even in D Woods. Like, even though she also was a part of the structure too, because mm -hmm. I'm listening to Showstopper and she's singing everything. Mm -hmm. I'm like, whoa! But it's and something. She also had that. She didn't have it as like strong as Aubrey did to me, but she was another one who had like the performance. Her, yeah, she had little moments where like she just knew See, how I, to move and captivate. Like I don't know. I, I, it gave me like performance. It gave me dance team performance and musical theater. No. That's what D was always gave no. me. She rubbish, gave me rubbish. I have pro I have practiced for this audition all the time and I'm going to come and I know I'm good and I know I'm talented, but I would mm. rather no. But mm. but but this was me being biased watching a reality show and having my favorites and watching what was fed to me on all of that. Now that I'm like revisiting their music and, and finding songs and stuff again, I'm like, oh, D Woods actually did kind of slay that part. Yeah, or yeah. I actually did the, love the how she like harmonized that part with Don, which was so interesting because I know their their relationship was never the strongest. And I wish it could have been strong because I feel like their voices could have worked really well together yeah. if they if there probably wasn't like well, I just feel like Dawn is kind of like just a machine. You can just put her wherever and she, she good. The objective is to find a group where all the members are tools and they also can work together. I feel like... Because we have... What girl group have you feel that has done that? I don't, I don't think... Successfully. Yeah, I don't think... Besides, I would maybe say the Spice Girls, but then two years into their theme, Jerry leaves. Yeah. Like, there's always someone that leaves. There's always a rotation. There's because always... I feel like, <sighs> as, like, artists and musicians, like, I feel like we... there's It's rare where people really feel like, I want to be in a group. Mm -hmm. Like, I feel like everybody's intent, like, maybe growing up, if, like, if they feel like, I want to be a musician, I want to be a singer, it's, it's always a solo. solo yeah, it's always Star a solo. Group. So, and then with making a band, none of them came... With, with like, they obviously knew they were going to be in a band, but, like, I don't think anybody came from a girl group yeah, or like, something or, like yeah, that. Yeah, right. or else they wouldn't have been on that show. Right? right. So they still have that, like, solo mentality. And when you, I don't know, force people, not force, because they obviously knew what they were signing up for. I think your outside like, sources thing makes sense in, when you're explaining this now. Because if you don't have nowhere to go and then you have someone in your ear saying, well, you know you better than that girl. Yeah, exactly. Or blah, blah, like, blah, than that about it. Like, uh, Dawn had, like, I feel like once they, like, polished her up because she was a little homely looking, 
And that wasn't her fault. That wasn't her <laughs> I fault. wanted to address that. that That's another thing. Fault. It wasn't just done because I'd be looking up these Aubrey images. Aubrey was busted. Everybody, too. this is a fashion. The only one who was pretty all through was Andrea to me. Really? Yeah, she was the only one I who was like. I always saw Sean and Shannon always look pleasant. Always, oh, yeah. That's she true. always. And the, her evolution, she still looks the same as she did yeah. in 2005, which is completely insane because yeah. that's almost 15 years ago. Yeah. Just that era, even, the, even though the music and stuff was so good, like the outfits and stuff. Trash. Oh, so it's trash. again, that wasn't to their benefit. You know what I mean? Like, it, they weren't set up that even if Diddy broke them up or they had their individual turmoil with one another, they weren't even set up to take over the industry, and that's not mm -hmm. fair. So I want y'all to, like, go check out their stuff. Like, Aubrey re released Between Two Evils, yep. which was that, which it had really cool songs. Yeah, I love Hitchhiker. That was a really cool yeah. song. But it was like, everybody has done stuff. Mm -hmm. So y'all, like, go, and then go listen to their stuff. Speaking of, what is your favorite Danny D. King song? Sucker for Sucker for uh, See, that's why we're we're, we're friends. If you haven't heard it, it's probably one of the most timeless records, mm -hmm. I think. It was ahead of its time and it still could come out. It's, it's like a no scrubs to me. Yeah. Like there's certain records that could just come out in like any era and people would be like, this is a vibe. I can mm -hmm. rock with this. Mm -hmm. what, what was your least favorite Danny D. Kane song of all time? Um, and all slow and they all dressed bad and... For the music video, right? And yeah. then some, the seasons change. Yeah, yeah right mm -hmm. for you. Oh, um, <laughs> my least favorite, well, besides Neon Lights, Ah, you didn't like Neon Light still? I remember you saying that when this it came is, up. She's still on my playlist and I still stream. See, this is how you this is how you support your artists. Even if you don't like the records, I still support and I still have them on my playlist and I'm still streaming because I still want them to win. That song, and I'm just not understanding. It's just like the legacy for me, sonically, mm -hmm. they was doing some real revolutionary shit for girl groups. And yeah. then that song, I was like, that's like what is like, about it? <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> so we had <laughs> Lemonade as a lead single for the third era mm -hmm. was perfect. It fit right into it, just changed up the game. Fifth Harmony was trying to do stuff like that, but their label wouldn't let them do nothing yeah. like that. So Danny DK was giving us sonically what we needed. They could have had the opportunity to do that right now because no shade, but Little Mix is not really popping out here in the United States. And we don't have June's Diary ain't really popping out here in mainstream. Oh, that makes me sad too. So the girl groups are real scarce, you know what I mean? They're but because really uh, Danny D. Kane still has that underground cult following mm -hmm. that it still could have been something. And then we had Neon Lights. Yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> do you do you kind of feel like it's too late for them in a sense? Like, do you think they will ever I think, get the recognition? I like, think we the, the, like only way, the only way that's gonna happen is that all five get back together. Mm -hmm. If all five, if all five get back together and time that shit out with the new season of making the band that's about to come out, mm -hmm. that's the only way that it's going to be. Because then everyone, because that's what everyone's doing right now. All they do is revisit mm -hmm. all these things from the past. Yeah. Like that's why Disney Plus is popping right now because everyone's like, oh my gosh, like this show existed and they were talking about these topics right, that you guys are right. still talking right, about right. 25 mm -hmm. years ago. Yes, mm -hmm. we're still just, you know, so hopefully that could do something, but I know that it probably will not happen. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, and that's the sad. That's a that's a tough pill to swallow. Unless they just pill. wake up and see this video. That's so what here I was we gonna go. say. Like, I feel here like we as go. an artist, I would like, I would be like, all right, listen, you woods, we gotta yeah, do something. come on, like, there, like been, let's what, just talk it out. They can go in Yamba. Okay, <laughs> you know, yeah, get, somebody. I will even lead the therapy session, but something has somebody. to give, y'all, because. <laughs> We need to show the girl groups. Like, we saw the Pussycat Dolls. I just did a video about that. They just came back together. And at least they were showing you how to do choreography and sing and go full out. So we got that aspect. Now we need a girl group where all five still members can sing and dance. Leads. Yeah, that's still just Nicole and girls. Because, like right. Because in Fifth Harmony was, they all could sing very well lead, but mm -hmm. blending issues they had tremendously Lindon, and the dancing image, the image the heights all that was that kind of mess and then little mix actually gives me what i need but it, their choreography still sometimes gives me camp and not and their music too 
It's so but that's anthem. a UK thing. Yeah, that's so a UK anthem. thing. They yeah, love yeah. the anthems yeah. and that. Yeah. You remember? Do you know that what's the sha la la la? You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Sha la la la. If I ever get a little interview them, I want to ask them. <laughs> what was like, that? What was y'all? Because you can't release bops like Touch and then release yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. It ain't like that's why I'm having a hard time with Camila Cabello too. Because I feel like her album, it's just like two different sounds on one album. And it's just kind of, she confused sonically. Anyway, that, that was a little teaser, a hybrid of the top of the tea that I talk about on a daily basis. Yeah, Danny D.K., Aubrey, Shannon, Andrea, Don, and D. D. Woods. If y'all see this video, please, please, please come back and show the girls what, what, what we're missing, what we need for the culture. It's only, it's only fair. Especially with this little making a band nonsense they're trying yeah, to Yeah, and they already and using y'all yeah, for like this, exactly. like this so anyway. You might as well just profit Get the check. Yeah. We're going to be front row. Y'all already know y'all going to sell out. Let's do it. Please. And thank you. <laughs> Please and thank y'all. Subscribe, thank share, comment. We love y'all. And yeah. Peace.